Have you heard of regeneration? Have you heard of it? Remember, all answers are correct. But there will always be one that is more correct. <laughs> but have you heard of regeneration? Because if you are a Christian, you must know about regeneration. What is it? What are you thinking? Regeneration. Maybe generation you got TV times two. What is it? What are you thinking? <laughs> you want to say something? Oh, by the way, this is not a sermon. I guess we are talking. So what is regeneration? Yes, sir. Eh? To start again. Not really. Um, almost. Yeah, another point somewhere. So, to start again. Say regeneration, it's uh, something say long hore. It happened with our grandparents, okay. and it happens that it, it repeating itself again unto our kids. Okay, so it's the same thing that happened before, now it's happening again. Okay, could that be called regeneration or killing the generation? No, 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 okay. <laughs> No, that's fine. It's okay. Actually, we are sharing what we think, and I'm sure at the end we'll get to the right answer. Any other person who wants to? Thank you. You know, as, as Charmaine, I forgot to tell you. Last year, when I gave a man of the match. <laughs> because in all our sessions, if you check on TikTok, Facebook, even you know those things that are not very comfortable to talk about, and you share your story, and thank you. So whatever answer you are giving, it's, it's okay because it will lead us to the right answer at the end. Any other person who wants to try? I see a hand at the back. Motole Mamai. Um, re regeneration, from what I know, is um, when something that is dead is not necessarily resurrected but comes back from um, the dead. So like um, if something is dying, to regenerate is for it to get back its strength, to get back what has been lost. So it, it has to do with something, I'd say, it's like um, the day going down to nighttime and then the sun comes back again, regenerating. Okay. The simple way of explaining regeneration, okay, rebirth. Rebirth. And the verse for that is John 3, verse 5. You know the conversation that Jesus had with... Uh, Nicodemus. He inherited the kingdom. Simple. What must you do? You must be born of water. In fact, before you even get there, he said you must be born again. What do you mean? Must I go back to my mother's womb? That is deep. That man wanted to understand. Worry. Am I going to go back to my mother's womb? and then grow for nine months and be born again, pampas again, is that what you mean? And Jesus said, no, that's not what I mean. A man must be born of two things, water and what? And the spirit. Unless a man is born of these two, he will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now that is deep. And the question always that I ask is, what does that mean? Does it mean you must be baptized and also be filled with the Spirit? What does it mean? Let's unpack that. You must be born of water and the Spirit. What does that mean? Are you born of water? Yes. When? <laughs> when were you born of water? When were you born of water? When? When we're baptized. Okay. Yeah, are you saying? Tabayeo, yamid. The water there is not baptism. It's not baptism because 
Jesus said, I tell you, unless a man is born of water and the spirit, he will not do what? He will not see the kingdom of God. Meaning, if you die without being born of any, both of this, you will not see the kingdom of God. And there are many examples. There is a man hanging on the cross with Jesus. Tonight, tonight I will be with you in paradise. I think I have any chance to baptize him. I tell you the truth. Unless you are born of these two, you will not inherit. And many people, but that one is a special case. I want a special case. What Jesus said, it's a yes and it's an amen. He said, unless you are born of those two, you will not inherit. And the question is, what is this water? Water is flesh. Water there, it's flesh. When a person is born, there must be water. The breaking of water. So when a person is born, there is water involved. And if you look at that and check people who did the study, they will show you that Jesus was speaking about being born of a woman. That firstly, you must be born of a woman. Secondly, you must be born by the Spirit. That is key. Because that man was already born of water, but he was not born of the Spirit. Therefore, And unless you are born of the two, all of us say requalify qualify because it's way to come out. But the second one, it's key. And what is that, being born of the Spirit? What is that? Are you born of the Spirit? Are you born again? Hey, today we... <laughs> Are you born again, Barnabas? What do you mean when you say you're born again? What happened? Yes, ma'am. What do you up and down? But I want to understand what do you mean when you say I'm born again? I'm washed by the blood. What exactly do you mean? Do you understand what you mean? It's easy to bind demons for What is to be born again? What do you mean? What happened? Is switching on. Why am I switching off? Yes. Okay. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Lift it up a bit. Okay. When you receive Jesus as your, as Lord, your Lord and Savior. And, Savior. and then. To, yes, Lord. I yes, Lord. I Yes. You see, that's what I want us to understand. Because many people can say, can you go to alcohol, can you go to a cigarette, can you go to a... Because they decide they want to do it by themselves. And when you are born, what, what happens when you really get saved? I understand that you must, for you to be born again, you must believe. You must believe. Or Jesus is Lord and baby there were pollution. Because that which is born of the spirit is the spirit, and that which is born of flesh is flesh. So what happens? What changes when you get saved? What touches what <laughs> when you get saved? Amen. Yes. The spirit of the Lord enters in you. Okay, the spirit of the Lord enters in you, and then you feel different. You feel different? Yes. Okay, you feel... It's a different inside you. You, you cannot like, be like, insane. Like, it's like I can breathe. Yes, it's, it's like a mint inside you. you, you fresh <laughs> mint. It's, it's nice. <laughs> that nice! I want to understand that nice, you know? Because I don't think we feel the same when we get saved. I don't think we feel the same. I'll tell you why. Because... 
Some of us are that image really can need. Oh, fit a moa, gorea, when a mo, catacarola. That's why some cry here, some by my soma, but the pollution born. That's why every to whom who has been, you know, forgiven much, he will love more. Because that's one when we come to the Lord. So maybe when I will a mint. But I don't think Saul, I will let me first go mint. There was a conflict, there was war. He had to make a decision at that time. Because this thing speaks of birth, Vazalwan. Birth. What happened? How do you explain to people or what, what took place? Now on my side, I think you find peace. No, I know those are benefits. Mara, what happened? <laughs> you know, there are many people who are going to be able to do it because it's a pollution. But it's a siba polosh. But you never get a zaluan mara. A siba polosh. That's why Utsanja no palakin twenty for the rest of her life or his life. Because all sa polosh change that we are talking about. The peace that we are talking about. You will never experience it. Ntweba nabe su. It's a personal matter. You must have a personal encounter yourself. Follow up. I was on my way to Damascus. I saw lightning. This happened. A personal encounter. If it has never taken place, it has never taken place. You don't fake it by being close to Bazalwan. It must happen to you. So the question is, what exactly happened to you? <laughs> 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 no, those are something. I mean, we'll go back to the story of Paul. He said, "Yeah, we lightning. Vela jawa. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Erubial. If a person is in Christ, is a new creature. The old is gone. The new has come. Yes. If a person is in Christ, jo di ajo. Mara before di wa. Hey, something must happen. Repilaro pelar something. Enerzo aleti mathu wonderful happen. What happened? Mums." <laughs> Okay, I was wrong or feeling, but to me, I felt that I'm a sinner. Okay, before you got saved? Yeah. Yes. So I felt that I'm a sinner, I need to repent. Then you repented? That's what had happened to me. Okay. To be born again. So, and then when you repented, what happened to you? Before you feel the mint, what actually happened? No, yeah, my benefits. See, I love my benefits. For example, after what happened to Paul, suddenly he's no longer killing people. He's preaching the gospel of Jesus. He's speaking and he's all that. He's all that. Yeah, but benefits. Matter what happened? Something happened that day. A lightning struck him down. Something happened. So, what exactly happens? Or your pollution? Okay, there's somebody behind you. Mom. Uh, amen. Amen. Um, okay, Murit, I don't know, but I feel like the answer early so can go earlier what happened. Ever more like you've been um this position, Gori Okara change at three hundred and sixty degrees. You you you're not gonna be the same anymore, you're not gonna be the same person anymore. And Yes, some they can feel it the very same time, but some they, it doesn't happen immediately. But gradually, you will be in this position. Once you are saved, it's a 360 degrees turn immediately. I want to gradual. Yes. Are are pollution and nganga nganga basalwa? Ne? You get saved. No, the change. You. No, sometimes they don't. They no. don't see. They want to see the change immediately. You must see it immediately. You see, once you have an encounter with God, mm -hmm. you will see it immediately. That does not mean you won't have challenges. That does not mean the devil won't tempt you. But change must happen immediately. What's wrong about the pollution? It's very black. And we, Lene? Imutsuare, that thing. Imutsuare. I do not know. Even if I feel like I'm going to be alone. Ever again. I'm going to be alone. 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 
Hey, go tsara this thing. Immediately there must be change. Same time there must be change. What's about the hair? Saul, I better take lightning. All that happened. He had to go stay somewhere. The plan is just disappear. I will prepare my watch in church. I will do the mola and he had to be taught what to do. How to amola was not the same person anymore. The reason why we have people over there can 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 can. Kura singi ba tsuari. It's one thing tsuari this thing. Ska join a restoration is out tsuari. Utlot zana kereke ten years mara is out tsuari. I think you tsuari. I think you tsuari. Ta para tsuana le ba zaloan. You are not what you confess or you are because I out war. What happened? Yes, sir. Uh, as you are explaining the part, you are like, uh, for example, someone who used to drink alcohol and then. Uh, Apollo when yes. they are drunk. I don't know, like the way I got born again, I think the way I think I was born again when, I don't know, when someone, I think I was just going to make it official. Okay. Yeah, so, because what happened to God, like, there was, this other day I was just drinking alcohol, gi mixer, all these types of alcohols. They got 2007. Yes. So one day I was just sitting outside, partying in HIE, I was just vomiting the alcohol, vomiting the alcohol. Oh, Next is Nexus Gipolos. Okay. I was not born again at the time. Then I took, from that day, Kayai, from that day, I think for about five days or four days, I was just thinking about going to church and all of that I was just thinking about going to church. But then, before Udiral and Teo, there was a lady who told me that you must come to church. And then the vomiting started to happen and all of that. And then after Ufaja Udiral, the vomiting and all of that. And then I went to church and then came some uh, But what I felt uh, that day, he vomited the alcohol and all of that. I lost appetite for alcohol and all of these things. I hear you. I, to, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what happens when a person gets saved. What do we mean? Yeah, yeah, understand. What takes place there? What is happening there at that time? When you believe, I agree you must hear the word and then believe. When you believe that Jesus is Lord and we call you come and say, I want to accept him as my Lord and Savior. And you come and you accept him. So what actually takes place there? That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's the regeneration I'm talking about. Um, I did not recognize you, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, carry on. Uh, the time he narrated the sinner's prayer, come to the long hour. They did an altar call or Baba to pull some battle. Now, in my body, what I felt, it was war. I guess we saw. Murdi. I'm a bit. I guess we come home. Once you talk about feelings, you lost it. What we are talking about has got nothing to do how you feel. Language. Because once you measure it on feelings, what about me who did not feel? What are the pollution? What I want you to understand, Kuru, what actually took place? Ne? What actually took place? Usam put the feelings one I'm ready. Okay. Hey, u pulu so. Yeah. I kira babiza takolwa imsa matohwa ira. Immediately the spirit of God kutu kamharaha. I hear you. I agree. Sering kutu. So the spirit of God said Kutlu and then Satoma Vere Kasabereka Milwa Hao. Sabaraka Mili. Moya, your spirit. Mili wana. So el pulush wa lina maya pulush. Eva Zana Lina Pulush and Navana come holding the village of Gar Kibula wrong. Ma, Mapiru wanted to say spirit, there's a hand there at the back, my brother. 
There's a hand at the back. Maybe we've got to do some. Hey. Yeah, you just to me. Amen. I get it. Can I not a Arukushishi question? Lower pollution. Okay. So the way you want to go on, let's go back to the weight regeneration. Yeah. So refilling him to our Gary bed. So I get a lot So I get a pollution. It's an agreement between an individual and God. Okay. So that's why the Bible says what happens. Uh, hearing what's written on earth is also written in heaven. So that it's an agreement between me and God. So this means no, I'll be taking care of, of the spirit. I get it? There's something that is born, which is the spirit. So that now I Okay. So there are things that I must do. No, there you are far. I agree with the things okay. you must do. Yeah. Not, I'm just interested in what happens in that process while you are standing here or whether you are at home, wherever you get saved. What happens? And the answer is simple. Remember, a human being is made of these three things. It's your body, it's your soul, and it's your spirit. Soul again. Soul where? Again? Which composed of your mind, your will, and Maraquen. Whatever that's speaking to you now is the soul. So when I die and this body goes down, the soul will have to go and wait wherever, whether it's hell or paradise. Soul is a it's erbul like a mood, but it's a soul. Then on a spirit. You have a spirit. Renaga spirit You do have what? A spirit. With your spirit, you can have a connection with evil spirit, the evil world. You can also have a connection with the spirit of God. So when you get saved, listen to this verse. Galatians 4 verse 6. This is even further. It says, because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. The spirit of his son in us, crying out, what? Abba, Father. This process that we talk about of rebirth, Banavisu, happens in your spirit, which reina, we may not be able to explain it, because it's a supernatural process but it depends where in your spirit, the spirit of God. Sit is a conviction more in our mood. Mara mudimu abereka where in your spirit. Remember, your spirit is a central place. Yamut, it's your heart. It's a connection point between man and God. Rebirth happens there in your spirit. Moyawa how, moyawa how, which is your spirit, experiences the rebirth. And because when you are the soul, you are a living soul, you will definitely experience the goodness of God and the rebirth. But where does this thing happen? In the spirit. Your spirit experiences this thing. The soul will follow. The flesh will also follow. But there's something that happens in your spirit when you get saved. That's why biblically, he who is born of the spirit is the spirit. He who is born of the flesh is the flesh. And the Bible says, I think it's 1 John 5, he who is born of God overcomes the world. I will flesh. Speaks of the spirit man. So the spirit man is the one who gets regenerated. What does that mean? He's the one who gets reborn. It's not the flesh that is getting born again. Your flesh does not get born again. Because if your flesh is getting born again, it's not the flesh, but it's the spirit that gets born again. And when that has happened in your spirit, it's unexplainable. I'm telling you, it's unexplainable. It will control what happens in your soul, what happens in your flesh. Something must happen. Has something wonderful happened? Is something that happened in my spirit. Through the spirit of God, I was born again through the spirit of God. The spirit of God touched my own spirit and it gave me a new birth. I can't explain it. I don't know how it works. 
but the word of God speaks of it that something happens in my spirit. And when it has happened, nobody will have to tell you or stop doing what is wrong. No one. No one will run after you or stop doing this thing is wrong. Once it has happened, you will see tears rolling. You will see people saying, I can't go that direction anymore. You will see people say, no, I'm thirsty for God, I want to pray. Because nothing happened. Something must happen to you. And that's what happened to Paul. When he fell down, something took place there. This is how you are going to live your life. Something already happened to him. And from that day, he never looked back. So when you say you are born again, this is what happens. You believe. When you do that, the spirit of the Lord causes rebirth to your spirit. And that's what we call regeneration. That's why Jesuar, you must be born of water but also be born of what? Of the spirit. Which is something it's a personal experience. Well, some kwa mint. Well, some kwa peace. I had the peace. Well, some the yay, yay. Baba ba feeling. Yeah, baba ngwe, baba ngwe are broken. They feel mended. I, hey, we feel different things. But for us to feel those things, there is a new birth that happens in my spirit. That thing is called regeneration. So when you are born again, you are born of the spirit. Born of the spirit. And guess what? That which is born of the spirit overcomes the world. You become an overcomer. What does that mean? If you are born of the spirit, the world, because you are born of the spirit. It's a serious thing. When you are born of the Spirit, the hunger for God is automatic. The love of God has been poured in our hearts through the Spirit of God. The day you get saved, nobody forces you to love people because you push it. Because you are born again. But when you are born again, you are genuine about it. You cannot be a pretender around it. Because you are born again. You have experienced it yourself. You have seen God yourself. And suddenly, you start seeing things. You see this. You see that. You see that. You love your enemies. You do. Hey, they happen because you are born again. Like I'm an Paul. I know never love about People suddenly and he will stand there and be quiet, and uh, it was not going to be possible if it was the same soul of yesterday. Once you push, I'm really more humble. Certain things they are automatic. I talk you worry about what about which agajo and you know that enganya na jeringu they just live your life. And I promise you, once your spirit touches the spirit of God and there is a rebirth, no demon can dwell in your life. You can't be possessed of demons because already you are occupied of God. He is in you, you are in him. And he is in God, so you are in God. You are fully occupied. So demons cannot possess you, even though they can influence you. Because there's a difference. When you are a child of God, you can't be possessed. But there can be an influence. There can be an attack that comes. But you can't be possessed. You are a property of God, full time, 24-7. You belong to God. I will ask again. Are you born again? <laughs> are you really born again? Because about something did something happen to you, Did something did something really happen? Because you can ask yourself for Marakan did something really happen to you? Why are you behaving like this? Why are you acting like this? You're always out of character. Did something really happen? Because when something happens to you, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 must apply. If a person is in Christ, is a new creature. The old is gone. The new has come. We don't know this is the old. We don't know this is the new. Because the spirit of God becomes the teacher. (sighs) 
na go ngwe o pholoshwa motho a pholoshwa le boroko bo pala otla bo shuka mo ka fetsa o pholoshwa the whole night boroko bo sate ntlo ngwe di emo yena o ka se tsoreke because god is at work changing things na ke bona motho se o pholoshwa a good example of a new co- a, a convert sakias na mo pon na mela star jesu a right wa sakias because today i'm coming to your house what's what that was already automatically there was a regeneration that happened there was no need for laying of hands the fact that he wanted jesus and he welcomed him in the house it was done like that and bona ro re ba ke ba ropileng ke tlo ba fa if ke modiye tshe thuki tlo mo fa plus bonus if ke modiye tshe ga o pholoshwa o tlo e mae ma like sakias wa tsheka ka monto di sofa tse be ke lutswitse ke a di ntsha ke fa batho o ra di so <laughs> because hey lo ro wa pholosho ene ka nnete di sofa tse o lutswitse o ka se dule mo jo na wa because this thing could accommodate you yesterday when you are not born again now that you are born again o ka se khone o ritie ha o ka lepola la o tsiwa something in you just says this thing was stolen it was stolen it was stolen but so them to fetch out pollution the first week yay it's up and down vest e ka re ke rekile ka back door a ke sa nyaka hey di tlhakotse o ka re ba mfile tsona ka botsotsi a ke sa di nyaka hey hey kolo e o ka re ba eh a ke sa nyaka that's what happens when you are born again yeah or fetch out pollution u no tswela pele ka dilo tsa boginza u lebele di tv tsa ona ka re motho o sina nto o ikwang nothing happened because once something happens bo phela ba u tlo ba le revolution we call it region something must change about you wa tswara savana so ya dumela ya dumela wa ba ere ps ya ya dumela wa ibia mo wa ba nya ka boithu ya dumela something did not happen mm something did not happen i'm telling you something some u jampile wena u fitile ka speed mo madinga jesu una le step so us fitile something did not you know there's an old lady the mother to the old uh, the the late murtingo ben who used to say ge o fetsa o pholosho o o fitla hae o tsia buka o le motho mo lo tsia barking cop le ke nya bana ba skole the hard one to choir we be on one number 1 ngile ka utswa ko skolo number 2 ka jola le samuel number 3 ka jola le john number 4 o le be ja kere wa nana ka kubisa motho mmereko number 5 are o se tjutju fetse wa etla ja khwaya yela because a ngwana o jwa gole na rena what we do re no re mo rena wa mpona ke takile tsena khopela ro ntshwarela and you know what it does he forgives you then the devil holds certain things as legal rights because they have not been confessed and you are born again but demons are tormenting you you are born again you dreaming running away all the time and no tsarele demon le re o ke property aka byang ka ro pholishitjo le re no no ke tse bitwa ya lena ha confess a uri le modimo ntswarela cigarette u bo ntswarela le alcohol no se nke a touch covenant that i have with them and ka bona am pontsha ntongwe which is a serious gap that we have in the church when people get saved what we do ba misa matso ba sala nna mrao mara batho ba tshwane ba khante confession ke ba ka re ba ta confess ko trong ko ko court one of the le ampon go pela re le ntswarela o bolela re e you did really want to 3 4 and that's what we should confess before god you know what after you have confessed there is no devil who can use it against you there is no demon who can use it against you when they come you tell them straight or this is old this is old news this is me in the past i don't even remember that but second corinthians 5:17 applies it says i'm a new creature and something that is new has no yesterday it has no history i'm new i'm brand new that thing it's not me i've not done it so all polish who are confess when regeneration happens yo any question around this one re clarify any yes <laughs> uh, 
Uh, from me, Angasirke question. I'm just saying thank you for Hore. You've touched what you've just said now, Hore, about confession. Because now that is so, so true. Because now I remember when I used to smoke and Kapulosa, but uh, before I started smoking, Salekar, Kadbuela Marao, and then Kadzuba, Kaira, everything. So, in two and a pillar in the a. About confession, like Ravoa, Raripenta, but we don't really confess Kamulumar on a hore and Nanikit Swarasavan, Nanikit Zuba, and all that. Because every time, no Korea, sometimes they look into a Kali, a Kali Sidi, Rigido, but no Kra Hekitual Lamacro when I pray, Muruti, that smell will just pass. Kukiki Valley, Ntula Takatoya, cigarette. No grass sometimes so hot la hella le in twela or no if it's a Friday. Hopefully that gum 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 Like you know, like why do when you wake up in your morning that three o'clock, you're praying on a Friday, you're praying for a weekend. It will come. And then Kurdite, Dita Muruti. One talanya. So I'm just very happy or at least now we'll know when we're going to pray tonight. Just okay, we just Gonna address them to God. Thank you for that. Sure. All right. Thank you very much. Um, yes, my parents. Baba, fundis minangonga to begin nam sange ngoba. Every time beam. Namini bang question. Would you born again? Anga is a divina. Once would when I'm born again. So, Mina, never born again. Malanga in the deep foot. So, need why Bengs Buzisa Mina self need never born again. Mala sometimes in the deep. Why? Blue, blue, and colored. So, who answered the wood? Mauva born again. Angego in the deep. Goba once we enter deep. Spirit is on a less zizo chela wuti la ungaenze la ungaenze la ungaenze. Ucha wuti omunye no munye lo aba born again mala enza sin. Ucha wuti asi born again na agu konagale wuti ube born again. I will answer you. Eh bengfuna injalungova. Question is ni azibuzi samina self every time ungova vesti li kona food wuti. When I born again, Unka in the DB now. Bessie answer is I give me what ya and go by naming ya in the song eating cool, cooling season. Mina born again, why in the DB food? I want to answer you, my Perry, very well. I want to answer you. Andy, we are born again, the song, ya kala ga cool, guna, munganua mo moon yet exceed. Is alone with the silly question. At Less on the Anina, Babatism, Babatism, one jar. Unbuzz is silenja. It is a swimming pool, eh? Lay. At walking and all sonder dash. At walking Zos and Funon Gena Sondoyago, like who's reading and a witty Babatism lay on Gennis a manzini. Egash as Angasa Clumas in Ink, Utum Funa goes anche. Get okay when I is a Thomas and Wednesday on a lady. They say Thursday, Kuna, Kuna teaching lab and to Ba Ba Mukela go Jesus Sunday, Ba Fundisa Futi. They say after lab, Uzo Ba Zogu Babatiz. Malani kaka mbuzi se utu uza kuago uza ufuna Babatiz. Uta ku Babatiz ingi manzinge oluwato adamala. Uzo kuma so ni ambega nje so andi azukon. That's why ni record alam ufuna umuntu mera yena azizwele yena uti. I want us to move to the next one because already we are talking about sin and so on. It is possible ne, that a Christian can fall into sin. That's why Ricky fall. You can't live habitually in sin. There's a difference. You can't come to church. Next week, 
without anything bothering you. It is possible that as a Christian you can fall really so that you can recognize but the bigger problem is when people make it a lifestyle this is my life and they are not even willing to change and that's a problem that's why regeneration really happened because incredible language happens inside you not next to you not around you when it has happened inside you but the ruta one, the ruta two, the ruta three, what it's for. And when you have fallen, uto tsweni ya mumu yeng. Uto iku uto alwena. No, something is wrong. Matema chaba leva wele leva sawa is the same thing. Kuri ba mu abati burna. Kuri ba no tsuana. Ah na lebo chata ba no fita no misa matzo like anybody. Kanti buto buto wele le tsuolo chani leva wui ma oyema. But langor kiri le tsu le chani leva wui ma oyem because when I was there, I know I got some habits. Why all the people who are not going to be able to do this? If you are not going to be able to do Hallelujah, God. Mara awa. Why is not guilt conscious? It means nothing happened. Because when something happened, it will twain. You are not going to be wrong, and it's not okay, and I need God to help me. And you are genuine about it. You are really genuine about it, or God help me. Can I move to the next one? What is... What's that? I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the should you touch the red one well? You understand? It's as easy as that. So the word of God says what is born of God does not sin. What is born of God does this, this. It doesn't do this. It does that. The word is clear. This we call them the moral rules, the moral laws of God. They are there. Do, don't. They are there. And the spirit of God in you helps you. Will. Yeah. Will. And you must see yourself, Bazalwan. Usanju iponor mara moke la kile. Muhawa mdi muko munchi wa hawe. Mara wena usa ipon. I am a sinner, actually. I need God's grace. How is he going to save you? Apo nalwa tuwa nchi ba sepe la khausuli green carpet. Every day. Bazamam. Ba khausu khausuli on. But you, you are You are out. You must be here. And when you are here, you are intentional about how you live your life. Very intentional. Should anything happen to you, you get bothered about it. It's not about who sees, who does not see. It must bother you. And he will forgive you. But Amen. Amen. Because God is not a fool. You can't fool him. There is a hand that side. Regeneration, don't forget. Next week, we said, what is regeneration? Lampoja or no? Regeneration, yeah, quiet. So, one thing, one thing. For life. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, can you add on what you say? regeneration. What you say? Regeneration. About what happens. I remember when I get saved, I was young. What you say, Nyahori, what I'm going to repent, and when you go back home, <coughs> you know, worry. that thing was well up. I was raised the king, and as a Sunday school, I would feel like they're talking to me because going back home, after service, I was like, I'm going to go to the seventh and I'm And I was the best. I was blessed one day. But the day that regeneration happened in yeah. my life, I remember, I think I was 13 years. Yeah. I went back home and I told my elder sister and said, from today, I guess I did it. I dropped out and I did initiate, but I did initiate my tassel. Yeah. I mean, the conference is on, the training is on. And I drop it right there and say, I guess I did it. And she was like, how are you going to explain this? 
to Tate, to our father, because he knows you must be there. I mean, at that time, Papa can and Nakonku, Nahono, Utrakan Shela, Reba train a horre, Diakopan, Radikopan, and that day who could hear or Hakite. I mean, my voice is so loud. Mm. When I was singing, no tongue could work Uluko Hun, that's how loud I was. And Lima Kraken, I know that your voice are loud. And you know, tell me, Kraki, the better Kopala, Papa can now go Kite, or Diakopan, a Kakwa. You know, there's just this thing. And that day he could hear or there's a mess. And he went in and checked or Nakikoka and found or Rakite. Yeah. I mean, I was shivering, but deep down I know or I don't want to do this. At the I age of 13. At the age of 13. And it was after Wednesday service that day, I will never forget it. They preached about whoever loves his mother and his father more than, more than me. me. At, at that yeah. verse. When I'm away, young cook. Hey. <laughs> It cooked me at the age of 13. I went back, I, I, I cried after the service. We were four in the church. And they, they asked me what's wrong. God. It means if I am to die today, I'm not going to heaven because I chose to listen, to obey to my father. So I'm going to choose to be disobedient and choose Jesus. I know all this thing, it's a little disrespect in a little lot of things. And they were like, are you sure? I'm like, I'm doing it. And my sister looked at me and said, not now. I'm saying, now. And I did it. And I mean, it went to an extent. I was chased for that. And I said, I'm, I was disowned at the age of 13 years. I was disowned by my own father. I said, all of that, let them be done. But I am not going to move. If I have to walk barefoot, for the sake of what happened in my life, I'm going to do it. And since then, Muruti, I never looked back. Sure. I never looked back and I understood. And I think salvation, the moment that Damascus moment, it is yes. in your life. She doesn't need to come and tell me. This thing will bother me in my corner. How you spoke to her, she's yes. not okay. Yes. Without her even telling me. Believe you me, that day, I will go and say, my sister, forgive me. No, it's okay. I'm okay, but I'm not okay about it. And yes. about issue of confession, I take it back to if we are not fixing it. Confession is not going to be able to do it. What I said to you was uncalled for, and forgive me for that. And that is confession. Forgive me for everything. We haven't fixed our seal. And that is the life. On a latitude, you might make matters worse or everything. Forgive yeah, me for everything. everything. So, but if I come and own up the things that I said or the things that I did, so yeah, the Damascus moment, if that thing happened, I believe you me, from that day, I was 13 years, I never looked back. However, when those initiates, Baba, King graduation, my two was young, and my father said to me, "When Oscar Swaradi yo chaka makro wena wana Jesus, you are not going to eat." I was eating kumiti nyaba zalone ban sura la kas kas kafti nisa ice cream because I cannot indulge into those foods. That's why today na kya makala wena le bazalone bare they are okay bar uno ya fen. I don't. Even the isimu ya fen, they are. <laughs> Part of these ceremonies. Yes. Ibile Abanyaku offend their families. Yes. They don't want to. Ubi Zika Masuika house at Zur Naju. We are matlapeng. I can't matlapeng. Yeah. No, I can't tell you what I'm talking about. Ubi Zika Masuika when I don't want to offend the family. Yes. And Oma Suike and what they were the purpose of this whole thing. Who pass? Yes. Ibile before Vale Buddha Suika lay. But I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. Nice. Yes. So we are so accommodative. So accommodative. We don't want to hurt anyone. Yes. Anyone. yes. Mara, that salvation, you have Paul and Silas. Yes. Yeah. 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 We are not going to bow. We are, not we are bowing to. every day. Yeah. And as long as we are bowing every day, regeneration never happened. Yeah. When regeneration has taken place, you are going to hurt people. That verse here, don't think I brought peace to the world. Yes. It is yes. a sword. A sword. Because mutu utlo lo bu mai your enemy. Yes. Matwa lewa how utlo your own enemy. Asma aga that thing. 
because you are going to tell them more nape asina mutu wali wacho nape asina mutu akitse ni mo and it's like that and they must they must believe you whether they believe or not they must know or you are not part of it but this compromise december so when the busy little number of it about the brain my pass about jump is a say also but brr when about will allow me no one was alone if it can happen, you will never go to those shrines. In fact, if I go to a post, we say more. We talk to another Gideon. We are a medium of our own. Nagali na lamurina Jesus. Because when regeneration has taken place, you can't fit in. You just can't. Because we talk about it, we say more profiting. When it has happened. Because we talk about we say like we are going to do more. Lalo and our bar of our own. We have our own. We have our own. We pull us away. Muna, eruko wacha udia when regeneration has taken place. Haba kauti yaka force ulungu na watu 18 years. Ngaka itlo kuba irifita kwa. Tuo wa kumi nyaki kama. Because moya hata bara I bind this thing. You are not going to see me. Colossians 3 says my life is hidden in heaven with Christ Jesus. So ikas wano mu marapo in the name of Jesus. Fire. I serve you man or fire. Because something has happened. That, that, that is my, true. My, my, one three generation has taken place in your life. I was saying you go taller. I was saying you go quite taller. I'm pushing or na chakadi e mebiang. I get to unkelin checking or na wao kita nyalo na. You have no time for those things because something wonderful has happened in your life. Your life is in the hands of Jesus. Ah, no, you just have to know who you are and be in Christ or not in Christ. Hey, the, your story is touching. When I was growing up, there's a lady who used to sleep in the toilet because not come. She chose her kid Maria. Haya kwa bazalwani ngai orobala. Papa, uapolata bazalwani. You are not going to keep my daughter here. Ora kile na lidro ran disrespect. Munching. Bazalwani ba mukuba ba rechaba papa. Ara I'm not going to bow. Ata marobala ka toilet. Ara for my Jesus. Ntwe idrele mona. It has not happened to him. He does not understand. I'm gonna be in the toilet. And the toilet is going to be in the toilet. Dilo kama kati di diye ni last year di salo anamu, so ora udula le juana mo arapela abija jehova with the things of three years ago, just to abele security in the money at two at ne kama tumu mwa kope na utapa, bazaran ba mu fast skate ni ana hepa pa ya kama na skate sasa tibu ni kutoa sisi juu kai, she had to stay moments in yaba for more than three years because ara I will not defile myself. Kau tama kuba mela di bichi skadi tibi. I wonder if really we are that tough. But if regeneration has happened, you will be that tough. Ogasve jeli, you will be that tough. Tetal na jawa ya jawa ya dikome, ni pulishi chwe. Ukumanu na ulimu aramero pele, koko jing koko jing koko jing, unjuo thalor ba zalona ba uboni. It's not about who sees you. It's about what has happened inside of you. Hey, ukara tafeja kari generation. Ratlo feja kari generation. Um, Nerutanjiri dreng hape sanctification. Nerutanjiri dre redemption. Um, maybe ergi di parke kita di bawah najis long kita di re escape goat because it's quick. Have you heard of escape goat in the Bible? What is escape goat? Kima tomo 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 wali tapa. Eh. Au na kar tu sang ka scapegoat. Rapele ria hai. Aki nga go senya regeneration. Um. Ok scapegoat in a normal common language. Ki. Eh? We pick up. We pick up something. 
Why not goat? Barari. Scapegoat barang. Unal goat, there must be a goat. We pita come to mo. Or gasil. E put away of alo anana. What a scapegoat. Leviticus 16, are We are still on the same thing, same topic. They all link, but are uh, level. Leviticus 16, maybe I to make a verse number 7. Somebody who can read nicer and clear, not like me, ask a kuwa kuwa. Leviticus 16, anybody who got it, please say amen. From verse 7, quickly, please. Who's reading for us? Yes, sir. Yeah, read for us. Yes, sir. Let the daughter read. Okay, it reads as follows. Yes. Then he shall take the two goats to the entrance of the tents of the Lord's okay. presence. So, meaning, there must be two goats when they sin <laughs> in the land or somebody has sinned, or people are asking for forgiveness from the Lord, and for their forgiveness, they must bring two goats, and then take the two goats to where? To the entrance of what? Of the tent of the Lord's presence. Of the tent, like the tabernacle. And then what must happen? I'm eight. Continuous. Okay. Then he shall draw lots using two stones and one marked for the Lord. And the other for as as so, well. So you will draw lots. Agregate put it a Lots is more like my dice. We better give some dice. Maragma sweet gamma bait. Little one mark you know for the Lord. And the other one? Um, using two stones. And then one marked for the Lord? One marked for the Lord and the other for as as well. The other for as as well, yes. Irony shall sacrifice. So, so in simple terms, we understand it. Head little tail on this masuka, and then what must happen? Aaron shall sacrifice the goat chosen by Lot for the Lord and okay. offer it as now, a sin. Now, and one offering. of the goats there, which is the one Taylor Madais early head moyon for the Lord, you will take it and sacrifice it for the Lord, and then. The goat chosen for Azazel uh -huh. shall be presented alive to the Lord and sent off into the desert to Azazel in order to take away the sins of the people. So this one must be sent away in order to do what? To take away the sins of the people. Continue. When Aaron sacrifices the bull as the sin offering for himself and his family, mm -hmm. He shall take a fire pan full of burning, burning coals yes. from the altar and two handfuls of fine incense yes. and bring them into the most holy place. Yes, continue. I'm, I'm looking for okay. something there as well. There, the Lord's presence, he shall put the incense on the fire and the smoke of the incense will hide the lid of the covenant box yes. so that he will not see it and die. Yes. He shall take some of the bull's blood and with his finger, sprinkle it on front of the lid, and then sprinkle some of it seven times in front of the covenant box. Mm -hmm. After that, he shall kill the goat for the sin offering for the people. Mm -hmm. Bring its blood into the most holy place sure. and sprinkle it on the lid and then in front of the covenant box. Yes. As he did with the bull's blood, in this way what he will... Pop what verse is that? 16. Can we check verse 18? He must then go out of the altar for burnt offering and purify it. He must take some of the bull's blood and some of the goat's blood and put it all over the projections okay. at the corners of the altar. Let me explain the, the part so that we understand why are we reading that. What are the put paid? A one e khetagi mudi mo ya sacrifice you a madia na sprinkle wa in the tabernacle. Lebon and the other one is sent away, which has been chosen by or for others there. 
Now, what I was looking for is the part on what happens to that one that sends, is sent away, not the one that's killed. You can see, or that one that is killed, it's about Christ. Can we agree? The blood, everything, it speaks of Christ. But also, the one that is sent away, this is what happens. When the people have sinned, they will take that one that is supposed to be sent away, take the sins of the people, put them on this goat. So what the priest would usually do is to put his hands on this. Sometimes even the person, bring the person who sinned, put their hands on top of the goat, and they will speak and confess their sins. After that, they take the goat, they send it in the wilderness. You know what that means? That's, that goat is taking away the sin of the people into the wilderness. And that goat is not supposed to be killed. It's a sabatu. You know what that is? Aaron and the people who sinned, put your hands on the goat. There is a transfer of our sins into the goat. And because this goat, unale specification, how many years? It's pure. We take the purity of the goat to ourselves. So when we stand before God, we don't stand with our own purity. Because right now, we were sinful. We stand with the purity of the goat. And the goat has no right to stand before God. It can't even be used in the tabernacle because it's dirty. Therefore, it must be sent away because it doesn't qualify to stand before God. And we stand with the purity, not our purity, the purity of the goat. The scapegoat has taken the sin of the people of Israel down into the wilderness. I have no redemption in Tomagai. Tomam. Rena, reversa qualifier agro yama pelamutim. Then Jesus took our sinful nature. He took our sins and he gave us his purity. We are righteous because of him. Now we can stand before God. Hebrews, I think it's Hebrews 6 or 4. And now, therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy from God. We can stand before the throne with purity of the goat, which is Jesus. But who took the sin of the world? Motosuke John, or behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So Jesus took our sins. He took everything. And he took it away. That is just the beginning of redemption. Amen. So di bichar na si chile di le. Now here's a problem. As we go, put this chile to make a di bichar house. See, gone into the wilderness, and somebody comes and say you are a murderer. He's a liar. He was telling me murderer. The murderer is a goat. There it is. You are a thief. Me, thief. The, the thief is a goat. There it is. Look at me with a different eye. I am pure. I took the purity of the goat. I'm not that one of yesterday. You are sick. Me, sick. Look at the sicknesses. They are gone. There they are. Gone into the wilderness. I am new. I'm healed. I took the health of the goat, which had no default which was pure and perfect. That's what Jesus did for us. Who do you think you are? When? Everything about me that was evil and filthy has been taken away. I mean, I'm a new person in Christ Jesus. May the Lord bless you. This one, my But this is this is all we need. May the Lord bless you. I think we must stop here. Shall we stand? Today. I need an encounter. I need an encounter. But when you can't be an apostle, because you never walked with the twelve, you are not part of the twelve. The apostles is those who saw God. You don't know what you're talking about. I saw Jesus myself. I may not have seen him physically like them, but I saw him when I was on my way to Damascus. And I even asked, who are you, Lord? And he said, I'm Jesus, whom you are persecuting. I saw him. I had an encounter. 
and this is my experience. May you have your own experience about God. May, may, may the encounter happen, even when you are alone, praying, talking to God. May heaven come down in that space. And may you experience the divine power of God in that space. You know, without the crowd, it doesn't work with the crowd. I have learned, if you can't come down when you are alone, you cannot come down when you are with 10,000 people. You must have an encounter with him. I mean, Saul, Ummonali won. They didn't see any lightning. But he had an experience that even those who were close to him did not experience it. Because proximity does not mean you will experience what I experienced. What does that mean? It means you can be very close to me and I see heaven open and you still don't see it. Which heaven? Open. Because proximity does not mean automatically you will experience what another person is experiencing. May you have your own experience. Even your husband can't have it for you. Even your wife cannot have it for you. Even your child can't have it for you. You must have it for yourself. Mutomungwadle's statement says, Fani Ari. Whenever you go to the toilet, you go there alone. It's always a sign. Yaro we call the Mauli one. Because the things we do in the toilet, whether good or bad, whatever that happens there is between you and the toilet. He's spiritual enough for life. And the toilet is very faithful. He will never tell people what you have done when you are there. So when you talk about personal encounter with God, it's something that it, it's you who can explain. Only you, not another person. Father, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. To this day, we are experiencing your love and we want to ask you, Lord, that you forgive us of all our sins and with your blood, wash us clean because your blood is able to wash us clean. We thank you for the regeneration that has taken place. We know something wonderful happened. We may not have words to explain it, but something wonderful happened. And Lord, we want to give you glory and praise because you are such a faithful God. And we truly bless you and we honor you for all that you have done for us. Father, encounter, encounter, encounter. It's what we are praying for. Encounter is what we are trusting you, Lord, for. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, and we bless your name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Yes, Lord. We have people who are joining us for the first time. Um, I may, may I please ask that uh, they just wave, you know, all those who are joining us for the first time so we can welcome them. I spoke to Ndate Kimguni, the same name, I forgot it. Yes, ma'am. Langen, yes. Langen, thank you for joining us today. Uh, but all of us are not new. Eh? <laughs> Any other person who's new? Okay, thank you. We love you. Tomorrow we have a session that has been announced. The session is about who we are as a church. And for all the new people, those who are members and those who are not, just to have an understanding of how we do things. Um, I was talking to Tadengoku that that session actually is for everyone. You're welcome to come uh, so that we iron out, you know, procedure, process, you know, your church. And, uh, and I'll give you a very simple example. If somebody gets married, Mokreke, they need to know what is the procedure. Uh, as a pastor, Motuata or Muruti Ganyala, Kari Five, January, Ganyala, Kopela Road. 
That's not procedure. <laughs> procedure says, Muruti, we want to get married and we are looking for dates. Which dates will work? We have these dates in mind. I grew up with our own set of Muruti, or Kadi Five Jajan or Ganyan, or our Muruti must be there. And Muruti that day when you are in KZN. As at you get ahead. Why Muruti has a talent in Yalulaka? And again, Muruti or Ganyan, like Kadi Five. When you are in the family, there is a way in which you do things. Language is and these things must be unpacked to iron out unnecessary conflict even in future. Can I get you a challenge? So people need to know where they stand. Agree with that So God bless you. Go well. Mudima le bulo ke motse lemo. You are regenerated. Ele bona savana le sefed. Tumas, you are saying something. Huh?